Hey everyone, welcome to Plants and Politics. So a contractor was accused of sexual harassment and assault at a VA hospital by a Navy veteran and house aide named Andrea Goldstein. Goldstein reported that the man, quote, bumped his entire body against mine and told me I looked like I needed a smile and a good time. However, after she reported this incident, the Veterans Affairs Secretary, Robert Wilkie, and his senior leadership team launched a smear campaign against her. They tried to discredit Goldstein and accused her of making politically motivated accusations. Wilkie even went so far as to make unsubstantiated comments to his staff and to the California Medical Center director, that, telling them that Goldstein had a history of making false accusations when she was in the Navy I'll explain in a minute where that came from, but all of this has been debunked and proven false. And the worst part is that Wilkie's rhetoric and his attitude really infected others around him and directed their abhorrent actions. Um, in fact, the VA police ran a background check on Goldstein, on the victim, two days before they bothered to run a background check on the accused contractor. So they are investigating the victim before they move on to investigate the alleged sexual harasser and sexual assaulter. So an investigation conducted by the Inspector General's office found that Secretary Wilkie was overt in his attempt to denigrate Goldstein the inspector general put out a 68 page report regarding the events and it read in part quote the tone set by secretary wilkie was at minimum unprofessional and at worst provided the basis for va leaders attempts to undermine the veterans credibility in addition the deputy inspector general for special reviews wrote quote Using denigrating remarks and questioning the credibility of a veteran who reported being sexually assaulted and then failing to fully explore the facts is contrary to the ongoing missions of improving VA and of serving the veteran community with respect. So 16 Democratic lawmakers and 15 veterans organizations are now demanding that Wilkie resign. He's being an obstinate ass, though. And I just have to wonder, I mean, I thought Republicans were the ones who cared about the military and veterans. I mean, isn't that what they always say? That they're the only ones that can be counted on? Democrats don't care? Why is it that not a single Republican lawmaker is standing with these veterans organizations? Why are they not also standing up and demanding that Wilkie resign? I, I should point out, though, there is one Republican lawmaker that has taken action. Dan Crenshaw, whose unethical behavior apparently has no bottom, is alleged to have helped Wilkie by plying him with negative information about Goldstein. So apparently Crenshaw and Goldstein served together in the same Navy command. And according to Wilkie himself, Crenshaw approached him at an event in December of 2019, and he implied that Goldstein was a fraud. So it's not like Wilkie went to him. He made a point to go to Wilkie. So Wilkie, after speaking with Crenshaw, then sent out emails to his leadership team conveying Crenshaw's words. Of course, Crenshaw is denying this. Try, oh, he, th he thinks Wilkie got the conversations confused and blah, blah, blah. And according to the Inspector General's report, numerous top officials used Crenshaw's information to cast doubt on Goldstein's credibility. So not only did Wilkie propagate this information, others did so too. Others who were supposed to be investigating a sexual assault against a Navy veteran instead used the words of another Navy veteran 
a male Navy veteran who has never known what it's like to be sexually assaulted, I would take a guess and I believe I would be right. They used his BS and took his word and used it to cast doubt on her, to undermine her credibility. Boy, the bro energy in this story is, it makes me sick to my stomach. So now law, House lawmakers are calling for an ethics committee investigation into Crenshaw's actions. And while all of this was going on and Goldstein as the victim was being picked apart and disparaged, was anyone bothering to focus on the alleged sexual predator? So it's come out now that not only did this guy, not only did this accused assaulter not have authorization to enter the building where he allegedly assaulted Goldstein, but it finally came out that this was not the first woman to accuse him and file a complaint against him. Apparently another VA employee previously accused this scumbag of sexual harassment. So sickening. So a few thoughts. First, I'm tired of hearing that we should all praise Dan, Dan Crenshaw. Sorry, not going to do it. It's not going to happen. He is, always has been, and always will be a complete and utter piece of shit. And the guy has a serious God complex. I don't know if you've seen this latest ad he put out with him in a tuxedo, acting like James Bond, and then jumping out of an airplane. The guy seriously needs to get over himself. I greatly respect those who serve our country, and I tried to give Crenshaw some grace, but he is always, always on the wrong side of issues. He has no morals whatsoever, and this is the final nail in the coffin. I'm sorry, but for him to target and denigrate and undermine the credibility of a fellow Navy veteran, go out of his way to do so, by the way. It just shows who he is. He is filth. He is absolute filth. Crenshaw proves definitively that you can both serve your country and be a vile excuse for a human being. Those things are not mutually exclusive. And you know what else is not mutually exclusive? Making sexual assault allegations against men in the Navy and a contractor at a VA hospital. Because again, they kept trying to say, oh, she's made these kind of accusations before. These idiots act as if a woman can only be assaulted once in her life. I, I hate to tell these people, I hate to be the first one to inform these rape denialists in the Republican party, but that's not the way it works, guys. Uh, just like the idiot who said, oh, a woman can't get pregnant when she's raped. Uh, seriously, did these people even finish like seventh grade sex ed classes? It's not the chicken pox. You don't just get it once. Women can't be inoculated against sexual assault and harassment. If only we could, if only women had to worry about being victimized once in a lifetime rather than every single time we leave the house. Almost every single woman I know has been assaulted or harassed multiple times in her life, if not dozens of times. And that doesn't even include, I'm talking about actual physical assault and serious harassment. That doesn't include the number of times that we're verbally harassed with unwanted attention or gross remarks when we're just minding our own business, walking or driving down the street. Hell, I remember driving down the freeway and two guys kind of jockeying, trying to get up next to my car. And I finally looked over to see what in the hell they're trying to do because they were like moving around other cars and trying to get next to me. I look over and the guy in the passenger seat lifted up, put his feet on the dashboard, lifted up and whipped it out to show it to me. Yeah, I'm talking about his junk. 
as if I wanted to see that. That's harassment, guys. You may think it's funny. That's sexual harassment. You know, you guys may get a thrill out of it. We don't. It's pretty freaking gross. Save your dick pics. We don't want to see them. Truly, we don't want to see them. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, I hope they take this guy down. I hope. They've already said, the inspector general already said that he didn't violate any laws, that it was just unethical, but they can't file any kind of charges against him. But he, the guy went and looked at her medical records even. He went and pulled up her medical records, trying to discredit her. But, you know, I really, I really hope that Crenshaw going out of his way like that, trying to target this woman who is already victimized, trying to re-victimize her. I hope something happens with him. I hope to God that at the very least, his constituents recognize him for the misogynistic, sexist asshole that he truly is, and they get rid of him. All right, guys, I will let you know if I hear any more. As always, like, share, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and listening. I'll talk with you soon. Take care. Thanks for listening to Plants and Politics. The only way we can take our country and power back is to spread the truth and build an army. So remember to like, follow, subscribe, and share on Facebook, YouTube, and wherever you listen to your podcasts. Thanks again.